get a This happened how long ago? The Bible was written how long ago? These are happened how long ago? Well, a couple thousand years ago. Couple thousand years ago. Years ago. Okay, so a couple thousand years from now, after it's been translated 150 times, I'm pretty sure you can get confused as to what happened and what order it happened in, and especially down to the minute of what happened on that street over Okay, let me, let me address that. Let me address that. Now, 2,000 years is just the, the New Testament. The Old Testament goes way further back than that. But here's the good news. The good news is that, as I was saying, God, God's Word proves itself. But when you take these scriptures, you go back and compare it to the manuscripts, you'll find that they're 99.9% accurate. There are some grammatical errors, I have to admit that. Now, over the centuries, people have tried to add and take away from God's Word. But we can take this and compare it to the Hebrew and Greek manuscripts and find, whoa, that's amazing. So the very thing that you suppose is the reason I shouldn't believe in God is the reason you should. You suppress, you push down the truth. That's what I was talking about before. How do we know what is true? Where does truth come from? Who is the moral giver? I mean, in your life, do you think that you're the one that makes up the rules? Why? Uh, I abide by His rules. That's why I'm lining my will and my life up with God's law, and that's why it's righteous. Not because I said so, or because He said so, or because she said so, but because God said so. Now, you're pretty arbitrary in your thinking. You would suppose everybody out here can have their own rules, and we can all coexist and have no problem. Now, do you think that rape is wrong? Yes. Rape is wrong. Is Violating murder wrong? Violence. What's that? Violent. Okay. What if What if he doesn't think rape is wrong? I said no more. Do you consider homosexual? No. No what? No more. Yes, I absolutely agree. So you're making an absolute statement, right? So when you have absolute truth, you must have a source of absolute truth. Otherwise, everybody out here is not true. You can say that I am. The source of absolute truth. Then your truth should make him line up with that. Right? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, you're you're pointing to me, I have no clue what you're talking about. Doesn't matter, you need to listen then. I know, but I just don't like being part of the uh, example without knowing what I'm being used for. Well, then pay attention, let me say it again. Do your professors tell you that? No. Wake up! Wake up, Sonny! Well, I've only had like six hours of sleep. Lay off. Well, I've had six hours sleep myself. In fact, every day I sleep for six hours. Back to the truth, though. Not he good. You have your truth. It's an arbitrary, absolute truth. That's an inconsistency. That doesn't make sense. Religion is an inconsistency. How do you prove that? No, no, it's been out here. Prove that the pure and holy religion of God, that is Jesus Christ, is inconsistent. Is arbitrary. It's not. It's not arbitrary at all. You have to answer to it whether you believe it or not. You just have to be reasonable and think out the truth of Jesus Christ. Have a seen you in forever. Where you been? Let me ask you a question. When you go to these classes, do you believe your science professors teach you the truth? Yes. Oh, so you believe your book? I know not. You? Yeah, why? Well, your book because is arbitrary. Because they're scientific proven facts. I can't prove really? it. Someone like, wrote about 2,000 years ago. May I interject? Uh, you do experiments on it. You write down data. And you prove it. Okay, so by looking at stuff and tasting stuff and touching stuff, I can prove it. Yes, you can is prove it. Is that the only way you prove things? Uh, pretty much. Yes, okay, now let, let's try that. A law of logic says this. A cannot equal not A. Law of non-contradiction. Can you show me that? Where? where? Is that a physical, tangible evidence? No. You, you can't show me logic. You can't show me justice. You can't show me mercy. You can't show me love. Those are intangible, abstract what ideas. What about the soul? What about the soul? You can't touch a soul. It's not part of the human body. What's that? What about the soul? What about it? I mean, doctors have been dissecting. Doctors, oh. doctors have been dissecting bodies and they've never found any part of the body that can be registered as the soul. Well, just because uh, I come back to my same point I made to her. Just because you can't see something, does that mean it's unprovable? No, I'm just saying. 
No, I'm just saying. I want you to think this out now. You can't I have, have, you can't have full knowledge of some. You can't have full knowledge of some subject without at least seeing something, seeing what you're talking about once. You're right. Now God has all knowledge. The Bible says so. And I don't. God has all knowledge. I'm the science. He's omniscient. Okay. And because God is omniscient and He knows everything that is to be known, He knows what you're thinking right now. He knows what you're supposing right now. Because He knows these things, God's dealing with you. You are either in truth or you're not. And Jesus Christ, again I'll say it again, Jesus said, I am the truth, I am the way, I am the life, no man enters into the kingdom of heaven. Excuse me, sir, I have a permit for this area. Back up, please. Back up, please. I have a permit for this area. Back up, please. I, 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 back up, please. I want to see my piece right now. Well, I don't mind if you no. say your piece. Hey, uh, make sure your piece. question is reasonable oh, and uh, of intelligence. We want to use our minds here. The Bible says that God, God wants us to reason together. God says, come, let us reason together. Let's use our minds together to not suppress the truth in unrighteousness, but to lift up the truth. Lift it up. What's the truth? Is it John's truth? Now, apparently your question wasn't, uh, I don't know where he's going. I, I wish you would ask the question, but I'm willing to take questions. I have no problem with that. I want to have a dialogue here. But you have to understand, if you're not dealing with the Bible, you don't have truth. If you're not trusting God, He is the source of truth. You don't have it. Source of truth? Yes. Well... What's your reference with the source of truth, other than the Bible? I told you already. I know that, but... Supernatural revelation by the Holy Ghost let's assume, in let's God's assume for a Word. Second. Yeah, let's Steve. assume for a second that the Bible isn't... It's just Harry Potter. Just How do Harry you prove Potter. that? You can't prove that? Well, you can't prove Harry Potter isn't the Word of God either. I sure can. Harry I mean, the Bible, the Bible says witches there's dragons, and Harry Potter and, says and, dragons. and wickedness. Percent. But the Bible talks about holiness and righteousness and judgment. He talks about mercy. Harry Potter just talks about selfishness. Selfish sorcery. That's good conquering evil right there. Oh, it's not. That's good wholesome family fun. Sorcery is an abomination to God. Witchcraft is an abomination to a holy and righteous God. Yes, sir? Metaphorically. Okay, so God is benevolent. That's saying sorcery exists. God is benevolent for all. God has demonstrated love for every one of these. And I have a question. Okay. God is benevolent, omniscient, omniscient. You speak and up, I can't hear very if well. God is benevolent, omniscient, and omnipotent, then why does he not destroy evil? Well, God is going to destroy evil. Then if he's he going hasn't to, destroyed it yet because he desires to be Bacon evil. makes everything better. God has not destroyed all of this yet because he desires that you come into his kingdom. Now, his kingdom is holy and righteous. But God destroyed the whole world. Wait now. God destroyed the whole world in a flood. But God has every every authority to destroy men, women, children, animals. Because why? Because he created them. That's why. Dude, so because God, the world is going to end. One question at a time. Please, I'll take your question next. Only a small portion of the earth that actually flooded during that time. There are actually water levels and Noah's Ark to show that. That's not true. That's not true. The Bible, uh, the Bible claims a worldwide flood, and the whole earth is evidence of it. That's why you see these layers of strata.